Time for the big one then. This is the most important horse race in the world. Don't take any notice of anybody who tells you otherwise. It's the Derby. It's a mile and a half. It's Epsom. And the top one is Alfonso, the great Paul Rhodes. Aristotle, Ryan Tamasevi. Barkston, Daly, David Robertson. El Paso, Impact, Ravini Gerard. Fight Without Fear, Leon Van Rensburg. Rib Chester, Darren Thompson. Satko, De Steve Rand. Sea of Tranquility, Paul Rhodes. Speedy Fix, Regarded, Craig Allen. The Grey Gatsby, Dan Hughes. And Time to Shine, Craig Beckwith. Not the biggest field we've ever seen probably not the classiest field we've ever seen but somebody's going to be a derby winner at the end of it they're all installed and away they go then in the s07 season two derby and it's barkston daily pulling for its head one of the first to show el paso impact a little bit slow to go sea of tranquility's up there pulling for its head as well but they're sorting themselves out now it looks like barkston daily and alfonso the great might dispute the lead but sea of tranquility may be about to go on so they're the leading three then sea of tranquility and alfonso Alfonso the Great, the two Paul Rhodes horses with Barkston Daly in between them in third. Ribchester is fourth. Then after that one comes Speedy Fix regarded who I think may have gone off favourite. Then comes Aristotle and Sat Godur after that one. Time to shine is next. And then El Paso impact the Grey Gatsby. And finally fight without fear. But Sea of Tranquility has won the battle to lead. And they're already through the first half mile almost then. And it's Sea of Tranquility that leads the Derby field to Barkston Daly in second. Alfonso the Great is third and Ribchester is fourth. Then Speedy Fix regarded guarded after that one, Satko Dur, the Greys next in, Aristotle widest on the track the Leon Van Rinsburg horse fight without fear, he's going to try and get up the inside uh, also on uh, wide outside of that one is El Paso in back, the Grey Gatsby trying to give Dan Hughes a classic double is after that one and time to shine is the tail end Charlie, but it's Sea of Tranquility who's two lengths clear as they come down towards the six furlong point then Sea of Tranquility leads from Barkston Daily second. Satko de the Grey going nicely in third. Then Ribchester and Alfonso the Great. Aristotle is after that one. And then Speedy Fix regarded. Fight without fear. The Grey Gatsby's getting closer as well. Also getting into it now. It's time to shine. El Paso Impact just being given the hurry up. But it's Sea of Tranquility leads by a length to Barkston Daily in second. Satko de is a further two lengths back in third. And Aristotle now under strong pressure. Here comes the Grey Gatsby on the outside. Ribchester and Fight without fear. Speedy Speedy Fix regarded the switch to the outside but got work to do. Alfonso the Great looks beaten. Time to shine is next. El Paso Impact is out of it. Past the three pole they go. Sea of Tranquility for Paul Rhodes is three clear. Off Barkston Daly who's going backwards. Then Satko Dur fight without fear. The Grey Gatsby Aristotle they're all in a heap. But this Sea of Tranquility is five clear past the two pole. Sea of Tranquility for Paul Rhodes the master of the classics. He's five lengths clear. Off Barkston Daly and Satko Dur and the Grey Gatsby. They're coming out towards the furlong pole. Jockey a little look round, Sea of Tranquility now being pushed along, is he? He's easing up on him. Their field are beginning to close it. Sea of Tranquility, Barkston Daly, the Grey Gatsby's flying. It's Sea of Tranquility, he's about to be headed by Barkston Daly, and the Grey Gatsby's getting up. The Grey Gatsby's won the derby, I think. Barkston Daly might have something to say about that. It's mighty close, but it could be, it could well be a classic double for Dan Hughes. And ooh, that is close. It says Barkston Daly's taking it. Heartbreak for the Dan Hughes table. They nearly did a fantastic double. Satko Dur was third. And, well, it looked like Paul Rhodes had won. It's a dead heat. It's a dead heat. It's a dead heat in the derby. Would you believe it? You'll never see the likes of it before. A once in a lifetime thing. Dan Hughes has won the derby and the Oaks. What an incredible performance. And David Robertson takes a derby as well. So, absolute brilliant performance on both of them Barkston Daly for David Robertson the Grey Gatsby for Dan Hughes you are Derby winning trainers Satko Duff for Steve Rand was third fight without fear Leon Van Rensburg fourth speedy fix regarded for Craig Allen who was the joint favourite in the end was fifth Paul Rhodes will be sacking that jockey no doubt because it, at that race totally won and he just he's right up on him and he didn't even finish in the muddy in the end so well, you're never going to see that again, are you? A dead heat in the derby. It's a good job it's not 1898 or we'll be having a runoff.